hey guys welcome back to the channel my name is desh and today we are going to create this paint peel effect in substance painter so we are not going to use any alpha or any other plugins for this we are just going to use the default assets we got in substance painter and we're going to start from scratch so i'm going to delete this and i'll just take this iron rub for my base and we'll just tweak this material a little bit this should be good enough so to create a paint peel effect we're going to need a fill layer and uh, we're going to define this as our paint so i'm going to take my color to something like this and turn down my roughness also we're going to need some height information so i'm going to add 0.2 maybe a little bit more roughness and we're going to name this paint now we have to add a filter so right click and go to add filter and we're going to use matte fx paint peel so select this and it will give you this peel effect but we have to tweak it a little bit so that we can get a better result as you can see that our paint is a little bit reflective so we have to go back and add a little bit of more roughness now let's go back to this paint peel effect and you can change how much peeling you want in your paint with this slider and you can also add some cuts and scrapes in this paint by increasing this flaking density so that it will give you a much more realistic result So after playing with all these parameters we have to add uh, levels here so that we can change the height value a little bit so i'm going to change the affected channel to height and uh, set my shadow pointer and just increase it a little bit and play with this level so that we can get a better result Do something like this and now to add final touch i'm going to go again in the filter and search for blur and we're going to use this blur slope here and this will give you a result like this so you can change the intensity if you don't want that much patches in your paint so you can turn it up so i'll keep this to 0 0.12 and if you want your peeling to be smooth you can change the intensity divider to the value of 100 or 1000 so i think 10 should be enough and also i'm going to change this quality To 0.7 now you can go back to your peel effect and you can turn it down a little bit and uh, this will give us this kind of paint peel effect and now you can select this and uh, group it and you can define it as a smart material and you can use it in your other project also so here you go here you have this paint peel effect 
and rename it as paint peel so if i'm using any material from here so let's see this wood material if i drop it here and i want to use my paint peel on top of it so i'll just drop it here like this and this will work just fine and as you can see that our paint material is blending with the wood so that's how we can create a paint peel effect in substance painter and i hope you enjoyed it and if you did then make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you are new also don't forget to watch the live stream in my discord server you'll find the links in the description so go and join i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching